about time I get a tip. 500 dineros? Not that I'm a big Fiat fan. What the f***? Boulevards? These are worthless. Gosh dang hyperinflation. Forget the nerd QX. There's a nerd oct -ax, Like Octo? Remember Octo? Hey everyone, it's Vosk with the Vosk One YouTube channel. I'm here with Troy and today we're building an eight car GPU mining rig. Riserless with the Octo miner board. Oh man, that was a long time ago. I want to shout out today's video sponsor that helps me keep the lights on. Revolution Mining, right? You want to mine, but you don't want to do anything yourself. You want to lock in their electricity rate, which may be significantly better than yours. Check them out with the link out in the video description below. Jeez. Oh, it just keeps going. <sighs> Holy shit. I've seen pictures and stuff, but this thing looks just massive in person. This is the Nerd Octax. And by the name, you guessed it, eight Bitcoin mining ASIC chips in this. This is essentially eight mini Bitcoin miners packed into one. Or it's like gluing two Nerd Octaxes or Nerd Q axes together here. All right, we cut this in half. What do you see? You see, uh, Nerd QX plus plus. Revision 2.2, double Qs, looks like a Y. We got this in from Bitcoin Merch. I appreciate them sending this to us. Um, I had, I actually hadn't even contacted them, uh, but I've been so busy with my little dude that procuring the latest release has been on my list, but not at the top of my list while I'm trying to keep everything in order. It's, it's been quite an ordeal and a, and a difficult time with definitely some hurdle, life hurdles here in the mix and a massive lack of family support, unexpectedly, other than my dad. That's all right, it's the way it goes. There's even a fuse on this thing. Look at a 15 amp fuse right here. Wow, that's, that's interesting. So if you're looking for like the biggest, most powerful open source Bitcoin miner from software to hardware in, in the game, uh, well then congratulations. You just found it. This is the biggest and baddest thing we've ever seen. I'm telling you, man, this thing makes a statement in person. Oh, wow. All right, let's plug this thing in. Get rolling. Power cable to the wall. Customized Bidax Miner, 12 volt, 18 amp power supply. Okay, this thing's huge. Surely enough, works on 100 to 240 voltage, 50, 60 hertz, you know, whole round the world, five amp, right? Output 12 volts. So this doesn't work with five volt miners like the Bitax Gamma, you damage them, be advised, don't try to swap power supplies. But that shouldn't really be a problem because this does not use the barrel uh, connector like uh, the Gammas and some of the other uh, mini miners do. So we should expect output here of 18 amps on 12 volts, right, 216 watts. and like every power supply pretty much made in china we will connect that really i'm doing this improperly i should be connecting all of these uh to the device and then uh, at the wall there but i'm a rule breaker anyway yeah i like that we went green though I'm a big green fan. This basically just tucks the uh power supply right behind it with that power supply connection location and then leaving the cable ties on there turning it on the side is the only way that it uh, fully reached all right so done this a few times in my life but we're gonna set this thing up and i'm gonna speed run it we've got longer videos and all this stuff so i copied my bitcoin address we're gonna be setting this up to mine to our publicly available bitcoin solar mining bitcoin uh address and everything so that's on ck pool we run our own bitcoin miners and bitcoin nodes on our own private mining pools and stuff like that as well but i'm going to hook this up to that mining pool uh publicly available on ck pool because you can punch that address or click the link in the video description below to look at this miner to see the performance how has it been doing long term all that stuff these names are just getting ridiculous so i'm just going to put octax and I'm gonna put in my Wi-Fi, my password, solo.ckpool.org, 3333. Save or restart. So just like that, set it up. Let's 
get a little closer, see if I did it right. Ooh, that's what I wanna see. So very quick and easy to set up. I copied my Bitcoin address, I went in there, I punched it in. Uh, so the downside of mining to the public version of CK Pool, uh, I'm gonna pay a fee if I hit a Bitcoin block uh, solo mining with this. On my own on mining pools I run, we have videos and stuff. I, uh, and so I talked about setting it up with Umbral Home. We have our BitX Gamma Node collaboration with Power Mining that will set you up with a solo miner and you're basically your own Umbral Home. Um, and it's actually a, a better deal. Uh, collectively than buying the two parts separately there. But if you saw our other video the other day, I know, I know, Boscoin makes videos and he runs his miners. Uh, I talked about upgrading my Bitcoin mining uh, pool and I'm um, switching to Basin from public pool because Basin is public or is a CK pool based and I like their UX 100 times better than public pool. Um, so that's honestly been an awesome boon for my little private mining endeavor. So yeah, now we got this thing firing up and we'll see where this hash rate lands. So we've got eight BM1370 ASIC chips near application specific integrated circuit chips, ASIC chips, ASIC miners, right? So these are purpose-built chips that come out of purpose-built machines that only mine uh, really Bitcoin. It's technically the SHA-256 mining algorithm, uh, but I think you're doing yourself a disservice mining other cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. Uh, you may be excited uh, that, to be more likely to say hit a Bitcoin cash block and maybe get a couple grand, but I'm going for BTC, baby. I'm, I'm all in. The Nerd Oct Ax is supposed to come in at 9.6 terahash a second with these ASIC chips. And that's at a projected power consumption of 140 watts. I will say though, at the wall, we're pulling 175 watts already. That's a pretty big increase over 140. Per the actual device, it says we're pulling 160 there. Maybe we've got stock OC settings that could push us a little bit further. We'll dive deeper into that. The nice thing about anything with Nerd on the front of it, it uses this LilyGo display, which is actually like the basis of the whole Nerd Miner thing. Uh, if you saw like our $50 Bitcoin Miner review a while ago, and that guy, that was actually more than, uh, that was actually like a good while ago now. It's XOS based, right? Open source software hardware here. Uh, they utilize two fans because they have to, because it's basically two nerd Q axes, right? So cuts temperatures, cooling, all that. And uh, this is not quiet or silent, I should say, but it is quiet and it has a nice simple fan hum, more like a sound machine, not like some like airplane piece of crap screaming at you a fan like uh, some of the uh, Bitcoin and ASIC miners uh, can certainly have. And that, that's a big displeasure uh, in your house, which is where you're gonna be running these. Mini miners like this normally end up in bedrooms, offices, I don't know, bathrooms. I mean, I don't know, I put my miners in my bathroom sometimes because I ran out of plugs in my house. Drew, why is there a mining rig in the bathroom? Why is there a mi That's your rig. Weirdly enough, on BTC Merch's listing, it says at the bottom it only uses 160 watts, but then at the top it says in OC mode running 140 watts, and both are alive because at the wall we're pulling 175 watts, uh, but for the dash it's 160, so maybe it's not accounting for the fan draw. If you want to support the channel, uh, please use our links, and uh, please support yourself with our coupon codes, things like code BossCoin to save some coin. Um, and I'll link this out down in the video description below, as well as some other options uh, that may fit different budgets and interests and different bank for buck, all that stuff. Uh, so right now this is coming in before any discounts, $900. That's a lot. And it doesn't really offer any savings over say, like getting two Nerd QX plus pluses. Uh, it doesn't really offer any performance for getting two of those. From a value point of view, it's not there. When you also get to this price point, right? I'm looking at like the Canon Mini 3. Like I've had a good experience with that thing. I will say though, like it's kind of marketed as a space heater as well. Uh, so that's really cool if you want that. This thing, I can tell, you know, it's, it's generating heat. Obviously like that 175 watts has to go somewhere, but it's, it's pretty cool all things considered. Um, not making nearly as much heat as some other miners, or you compare this to like the Zyber 8G, that thing is like an absolute furnace. That's another mini Bitcoin miner with eight chips. It comes in at similar uh, price point. It's overclocked though, running harder, running hotter, making more heat at a similar power consumption, louder too. 
uh, but also has another three terahash per second of Bitcoin mining power. But then you look at things like the, Mi the Mini 3, like I'm talking about, right? And, and that's gonna get us like four times the hash rate uh, for a similar price point. And that's kind of where I struggle with these. And that's the problem with these little mini miners, uh, particularly the bit axes and the nerd axes as they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger to achieve more hash rate instead of maintaining a small size, a lower amount of chips, and above all, lower price points, right? There's more competition than ever in the mini Bitcoin mining game. So don't do yourself a disservice and overpay. But let's check the odds, or should I say the luck, the solo luck. 9.6 terahash a second, a one in 800,000 chance per day, or one in 2,204 over the next year. Obviously variables, all that stuff, but that's the odds to use this to hit a Bitcoin block. Solo mining, you'd earn 3.125 BTC plus transaction fees, you know, $300,000-ish today in Bitcoin, probably over $3 million over the next several 10 years, whatever it takes. I personally think and believe that Bitcoin's gonna trade over $1 million per coin. People will scoff at stuff like that, and then they'll be just absolutely just flabbergasted, like, well, I could have figured out a way to get one BTC, or maybe I, I should have tried my odds or my luck to solo mine it, but then it'll be too late. I mean, the boys are all gonna retire. I don't know, we're just gonna have fun and relax. They work on some passion projects. Either way, that's that. So we can see this thing's fully spun up now, over 10,000 gigahash a second, which is 10 terahash a second. I like this thing. It's cool, it's nice. I love everything about it except the price point. I love these mini miners. Like if you know Bitcoin, like Bitcoin, and, and you're not just gonna grab one of these mini lottery miners, I just think you're doing yourself a disservice, right? I'm not just saying that because I make videos and I have a Philly link. Like, dude, this could be the chance to really hit it out of the park, right? Spend a thousand bucks, get $300,000. Obviously it's, it's, it's luck-based, it's not guaranteed, but it's happening and it's happening more and more and there's more mini miners deployed than ever. Mining Bitcoin's harder than ever before as well, uh, but Bitcoin also trades at a really great price point and Bitcoin's here to stay more than it's ever been. Bitcoin's more guaranteed than it's ever been, uh, at least from like a value digital gold point of view getting a little bit away from its original purpose and mission, one CPU, one vote, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer currency as opposed to digital gold, that's a whole different discussion. Regardless though, I'm, I'm still all about BTC and until we have something better, that's where my eyes are gonna be set on and that's where my heart is gonna be. I've had bit solo players, bit X gammas before and I didn't love them, but this nerd Octax, it seems, it seems very nice. It seems sturdy, it seems robust. And I think maybe just even the simple engineering of the Octax is impressive out of the box without really doing any, anything other than adding a, a little plastic 3D printed frame to it. I'm Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. This has been the Nerd Octax overview and review. I like it, I'm impressed with it. And um, I'd be more hyped about it if it just came in at a better price point, but I mean, gosh, man, we start spending a thousand dollars on things, you start to have a thousand options. So if you're just checking this out, trying it out, I would just start with a BitX Gamma, right? I mean, it's nearly a hundred dollars these days to get one, one terahash, get in the game, take a little shot. And there's a lot to review. Maybe I'll make a video breaking down all these different options, comparing hash, comparing what they are, what they stand for, right? From open source to not open source, if that matters to you and to what capacity and how much cost per hash are you willing to give up? if there's any sort of warranty support or not, right? And, and remember, this is open source. You could DIY this if you really wanted to, but DIYing these are quite an endeavor. Uh, so it's not like just being able to easily DIY a GPU mining rig back in the day. God, those were the days. You had to be there. And I don't mean like the last few years, people were GPU mining on a prayer and a hope and they weren't answered. Uh, but GPU mining in 2017 era, incredible. So much fun, such a different atmosphere too. And so lucrative. I really like this thing, but dollar for dollar, it's not for me, but hey, maybe for you. But you know what is for me? Tails, because we run 10 seconds of tails in every video, which also means that tails is for you. So I hope you subscribe, I hope you like the content. Let me know any questions you have. I need some comments down in the comment section because after spam bot comment cleanup went terribly wrong, 
All of our comments were nuked over the last three years. Still pretty devastated about it. Feels like losing a key piece of Oscoin history, but what are you gonna do at this point other than pick up the pieces? So good luck, happy hashing, and I hope that you and me hit some of these next Bitcoin blocks.